let's actually let's take a metal carbonate. How about how about sodium carbonate plus HCl? Okay, this this is this is perhaps one of the harder ones because there's a little bit of extra rewriting. So this is this is my gas forming reaction. And so there, there's a little there's a little sidestep with it, but let's write it as ions. So again, I have, um, these are aqueous. Sodium's always soluble. Acids are always soluble. Um, so I can write this as two sodium pluses and carbonate is two minus. And the HCl will break apart into hydrogen ion and chloride ion. So then I'm going to switch partners. Who's going to go with who after they switch? So it looks like chloride will go with sodium and hydrogen ion with carbonate. So what are the new products then? I have sodium's plus, forget the coefficient, sodium's plus one, chloride's minus one. So I'm going to have sodium chloride. How will these guys go together? Anybody? Good, someone wrote H2CO3, that's perfectly correct. I'm gonna need two hydrogen ions. It's the cation, so it has to go on the left, H2CO3, okay. So then the next step is to balance sodium carbonate, uh, let's forget the states for now, plus HCl, goes to um, NaCl, oh, that's Na2, excuse me, that's gonna make it funny, plus H2CO3. Okay, so right away, metals. There's two sodiums there and one there, so I'm gonna have to put a two here which changes the number of chlorides to two. So now I'm gonna to have to put a two here, which gives me two hydrogens, which, oh, I have two hydrogens, how nice. So this is actually balanced. Let's find the states. Well, um, actually, so there's a, there's a special case here. This is, the, this is the thing to memorize. So when I form H2CO3, H2CO3 decomposes. So this reaction is actually correct. I'm gonna form sodium chloride and carbonic acid, but a billionth of a second later, the carbonic acid is gonna to go to H2O liquid plus CO2 gas. This is a special reaction. It's called a tautomerization. And so basically the idea of this is the water and the carbon dioxide are very stable. And this is a less stable thing. So it just rearranges itself into two more stable components and it does that just spontaneously so this is the other thing you're going to have to do is basically rewrite then after rewrite after balancing <coughs> excuse me so rewriting after balancing would then be meaning substitute Substitute in the water and carbon dioxide. So I'm going to rewrite this whole thing as, it's a little extra work. Rewrite it as Na2CO3, that's the same, plus 2HCl, that's the same, goes to 2NaCl, that's the same, but instead of that, I'm going to write it as water carbon dioxide. And then, okay, so we're still kind of finding the states. What are the states? This was aqueous, this was aqueous, those were given to me as aqueous. 
Water is always a liquid, carbon dioxide, just about always a gas. And sodium chloride, I can look up on the table. Sodium is always soluble. It's a group 1A cation, so that's aqueous. Okay, so now I have, this is the final step of a balanced equation. Now I want to write the total ionic equation. So let's continue. This is where it, I'm going to break it apart. So I have two sodiums, one carbonate. So that's going to be two. Let's move this, it's kind of center it. Two sodium ions aqueous plus carbonate, two minus aqueous plus, looks like two hydrogen ions, two H plus aqueous, two chloride ions, plus two Cl minus aqueous, that's the reactant side, goes to, this is aqueous, right? So two sodium plus aqueous, plus two chloride minus aqueous, plus, okay, now liquid and gas, I'm gonna leave those as is, H2O liquid, CO2 gas. Ooh, took the whole, so I'm writing it bigger. You guys are welcome to write it smaller, but recommend when you do the total ionic is move all the way to the left and give yourself enough room. Okay, cancel out the spectator ions. What are the spectator ions here? Anybody? What, what, what goes away? 2 NA. Good. Sodium's just floating around. It's not actually part of the reaction. What else? Would the CO2 also go or I guess not? Because of Oh yeah, three. definitely. It, it takes it, it there, all the sodiums go. Sorry. Maybe I should have, I should have better, yeah, it would be to cross through the two and the sodium together. My bad. <laughs> I'm going quick again. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, what else? 2CL? Yeah. So I'm gonna, let's do, let's do it the right way. I'm gonna cross out that two and the CL so there's no mistake. See that? Okay. Um, is there a common denominator with what's left? No, I see one, two, one, one. So I'm just gonna write what's left. When a carbonate ion in solution finds two hydrogen ions in solution, they form water, liquid oh these are aqueous by the way aqueous aqueous they form water liquid and carbon dioxide gas so this you know this equation is the alka salser equation right the plop plop fizz fizz or your antacid right um you you can take tums and it, and it reacts with your your stomach acid right if you get too much stomach acid you you get heartburn Right, so it's, a, it's actually a, an important type of reaction to learn. Okay, so this is good. We've gone through, uh, if, you, if you think about it at this point, we, what have we covered? We've covered a precipitation. We've covered a neutralization with an acid base. We've also covered a gas forming now, technically, the gas forming, sometimes they'll also call it a neutralization because it's, it's getting rid of an acid, right? So, it, you know, just a mention that you might see that when you're um, gas neutralization. Okay. That's what we've done. Um, so there's a couple other cases. If you guys want me to continue practicing, I, I think people like seeing me do this work. Uh, hopefully. I mean, this is the best we can do when we're shelter in place, but I could do a null set, which is important. You guys should see one of those. And if you want, I could do a really hard one. You want to see a really hard one as well? 